Outdoors on the Farm is brought to you by Land Trust. Join our community of thousands of outdoor enthusiasts. Find properties, connect with landowners, and book an experience today. Learn more at LandTrust.com. Not all land on a farm or ranch is suitable for production agriculture, but often that land is great for wildlife. Today, Chip Flory goes outdoors on the farm to learn about other uses and potential revenue streams for landowners willing to share. Welcome to Outdoors on the Farm. I'm Chip Flory. We are in Northwest Missouri. This guy might look a little familiar to a lot of you. It's Andrew McRae. Andrew, how are you? Good. good. How about you? Absolutely good. You know, end of April, we're down here to do a little bit of turkey hunting. I'm interested in getting to know about your experience with Land Trust. Well, we already have three properties with Land Trust and have already had success, a successful hunt, and so that's been great. We've really enjoyed the platform. Uh, it's been a great way to connect with other folks that are interested in, in hunting, and it's helped us be able to make connections and share a resource that we have here on the farm. Got you have that creek down there. Yeah. There are people out there that are actively, of course, looking for places, and so if we can help provide that, and maybe it makes a little extra income for the farm, that's yep. great too. Again, see some right here. We had birds on it a couple weeks ago, and then those guys on the soap got a couple times here earlier this week. Oh, as a landowner, um, you've been around that land all the time, so you see the wildlife, yeah. but you sometimes don't see it from somebody else's perspective that's a hunter and, and realize, oh wow, this could be really a good resource and I never thought about it. So when they send somebody here to look at it, that's that's great. Our team of landowner success managers are the, the boots on the ground. Um, they're out visiting each and every property, uh, you know, talking with the landowners, helping them figure out how to get started, how they want to sit, set it up and what fits with their operation. And you want all the information that you can possibly have to set yourself up for, for success and to just ensure you have a good experience out there. And that's what you know our team really tries to do with setting up game cams, um, taking new photos at different times of the year. So we've had a bird right there. They came and they've scouted and then they have their trail cams up. And so I'm, that's been fun. I can, can see what's out there all the time. And yeah. so I'm getting those pictures and then their platform is updating with those pictures. So. Yeah, I can play an active role in it, but I've got somebody that's helping me then be able right. to sell the property too. On the farm and ranch side, most of our landowners are multi-generation farms, farms and ranches, just like the one we're on today. And it gives them a new opportunity to generate some income while staying mm -hmm. totally in control. You start into something like this on your own, you have so many questions about, well, how do I handle a, you know, liability or these types of yeah. things? Well, land trust, that's all taken care of. So I have a good partner to be able to take care of those things and, and partner me up then with somebody that's going to hunt. And then, you know, helping them get onboarded to the site. We do all that kind of work in the, in the background to make sure, hey, this is, this is it, ready to rock and roll for you. And then we push it live. Tomorrow on Outdoors on the Farm, we're in Northwest Missouri, getting ready to do a little bit of turkey hunting outdoors on Andrew McRae's farm.